Bob Wayfinder is one of the newer jogging stroller releases from Bob Gear. It is kind of on the more compact side. Maybe they made a new category because I think this is the most compact jogging stroller I've ever seen. Bob Gear was kind enough to send this to us as well as the Renegade Wagon. So I'm so looking forward to covering that. And they did emphasize that they want honest reviews, which I think speaks to the integrity of the company. So we're really looking forward to using these and getting back to you with the user info and experience. Our heartfelt thanks to Bob Gear, and let's get to unboxing. The first thing we're going to do is put on the big back tires. There's a button right here in the center, as you can see, which makes installation and removal if you need to take those off for storage a snap. This is my personal favorite style of tire removal and installation. It is so easy, so I appreciate that here on the Wayfinder. Now moving on to that smaller front tire, I have to say that the way that the instruction manual recommended you set up the stroller to install that front tire wasn't the best for me. I didn't find it to be as intuitive or as easy, so I went ahead and locked that front tire as the instruction manual requests, but then I set up the stroller in more of a standing fold so I could have easier access there for installation. You'll see here that process where I decided, nope, I'm going to go ahead and open this stroller up so that I can have better access. Go ahead and open up that side latch that keeps it locked and then flip it backwards and prop it up on the handlebar so that we have easy and open access. Now it's just a matter of slipping that pin through. Is that called a bolt? I don't know about these things. I think it's a bolt maybe. Either way, you slip it through and then you secure it on the other side with the nut. I believe that's called a nut. I don't know these things, but it's very, very easy to do. Like I said, we bring you the real user experience and sometimes real users aren't going to know these words, y'all. So please hang in there with me. After you get that secured, you prop that stroller right back up so you can move on to the next step, which is the canopy. There are two installation points here on the frame, as you can see, for the canopy. You're going to go ahead and push those tabs down into the frame on those sides. And once those are installed properly, you can go ahead and work on the back of the canopy, which secures to the stroller with a zipper. Now the fabric will be a little bit taut and you are going to be working in tight quarters a little bit there. But once you install this the first time, you won't need to do it again unless you need to take the canopy off for some reason to clean it or something like that. Another bit of good news is that this canopy does stay on very securely and the materials are very high quality, which is something we noticed right away when unboxing the stroller. From here, we're going to show you some features and functions. You can get a good look at the canopy here at its full extension. You can also see here from the back, we're going to show you the parent kind of peekaboo window that you can take a look in and see your little one as you are running, walking, whatever your adventure is that you're on that particular day. You can also tuck it up like this and keep it open if you want to, which is also great for airflow. The handlebar adjustment system is really easy to use. There's a button here on each side, as I just showed you, and it moves very smoothly. There's no loud clicking or anything like that, which I really appreciate. Nothing worse than a loud click to wake your baby up when they're taking a nice snooze in the stroller. You can see the foot brake here. I love it. Very easy to use and completely flip-flop friendly, no sharp edges, and very intuitive. You can also see here the kind of belt style recline system that you have built onto the Wayfinder. That's a great option to have when you're out and about. There are two built-in pockets here on the seat on the Wayfinder. You can also lift up this panel to get access to the front of the basket, which is a great feature. You can see here also the harness. It is not a harness that is going to slip out the shoulders from the waist, which I really love because those kind of buckles drive me bonkers. And it is very, very secure. You do hear a nice audio feedback when it is fully engaged so you know that your child is safely buckled in the stroller. Highly customizable for height and for the waist actually, just all around very customizable for the size of your child. Bob Gear is committed to safety and they have a nice handbrake here on the Wayfinder as well as the safety strap. Don't be fooled by the look of this included cup holder, folks. This is one of the best plastic cup holders that looks this simple that we've ever had. Some of them are too tall, some of them are too shallow, some of them are too skinny. This one is actually just right. The folding mechanism here on the Wayfinder is tucked away. It's actually pretty darn discreet. You have to know where to look for it. You lift open the back of this seat and you can see here the bright yellow color that lets you know this is where you're going to push to the side to release that folding mechanism. It also locks itself when it catches with that buckle on the side, which is a really, really nifty feature. All in all, folding and unfolding for the Wayfinder literally takes seconds. It's so simple. The Wayfinder has a built-in basket here, as you can see. It has this nice cover that's built on. You can use that for security, for safety, for your items, or if you're jogging to make sure nothing falls out. You can also roll it up like this and secure it up into this pouch with some Velcro, so you can have open access to it if you want to. I really like that feature, and I like that it's built in. There's a nice built-in pocket right here on the inside as well if you want small items to go there. And overall, I found this basket so far to be more generous than expected. 
Here you can see that front tire locking mechanism that you would be using to engage from jogging mode to walking mode. You can go between those two very easily and there's no hazard of pinching or anything like that. We have been taking the Wayfinder out on various adventures so far and taking notes so that we can show you guys a full review, give you all the details on the user experience. Thanks again to Bob Gear for allowing us to review your amazing products. We are looking forward to many more adventures. If you have any questions about the Wayfinder, drop them below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for watching. Bye.